Hey Bass Fanatics, I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 Today we're going to show you a simple preventive maintenance measure to take on your fishing rod. This is a perfect thing to do in the winter time and it doesn't take very long and it's very easy to do. It'll keep your rods looking clean and new and they'll be ready for the fishing season. Okay, so what, you, what we're going to start with doing here is cleaning the cork on my handle. Now, some fishing rods don't have cork, and that's fine. You can still clean the handle with a washcloth and some soapy water. What we're going to need here is some dish soap. So we got our dish soap. We're going to need something with a little bit of abrasion to it to uh, clean that cork, and we need a washcloth. Now, if your cork is incredibly dirty, and maybe you haven't cleaned it in years, then you could use a very fine grit sandpaper to clean that dirt off of the cork. But uh, generally you don't need that. You just need a little bit of soap, a little bit of elbow grease and something like this and you can clean that up real nice. So the first thing you do here is to get the hot water running. And we're just going to put the soap right on the, uh, right on the cork handle there. Use our abrasive, slightly abrasive cleaning supply here. And we're just rubbing that down, rubbing the, the cork down here. And this will make it look like new. It'll get the grime off the cork. And uh, it'll shine it up, make it look real bright, real nice. And that's what we want to do here. So. We're shining it up, and we're going to rinse it here. And she's as good as new. So the next thing we want to do is just take that washcloth, and we just want to wet it down. Nice warm water. I'm not even using any soap with this now. I'm just using a wet washcloth. And I just want to wipe the whole rod down. Simple as that. So I'm going to start at the handle area here, the handle assembly. Get this uh, washed off. And then we're just going to go right down the rod, making sure that we get the each eye of the rod. And around those wraps, that's where you get some grime sometimes. So we'll just clean all that up. There we go shining the rod up. If there's any dust on the rod or any dirt, uh, the washcloth should take it off. Turn that water off. Usually I'll dry it from here. So, so I got some absorbent towels here and we'll just go to, to start drying this off. Dry the washer top off here too. And I want to make sure that I get each guide. I want to get any of the dust or grime out of those guides. That's probably where the dirt collects the most. And then uh, put that over here. Save on some towels. Dry off my cork. Dry off my handle. Okay, so we've got that done. The next thing we want to do is look at each and every guide individually and make sure that there are no grooves in the guide. Now, sometimes that's hard to see, so you want some very good lighting. You could use a magnifying lens if you want to. Me, I'm nearsighted, so I can see very well without my glasses close up. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be looking at the guides very close up to make sure there's no damage. Some people will use a Q-tip and run a Q-tip in there, and if there's a groove in the guide, it'll catch the Q-tip, and you'll get a little bit of that Q-tip dust. But there's my, my, my finding is that there's nothing better than your eyes for this, so you, know, you can use a magnifying lens if you need to. But what I'm doing here is I'm looking where my line passes through each one of these guides. This, this guide got bent a little bit, so we'll just uh, bend that back. And I'm looking for grooves because when you use a specially braided line, it could over time actually form a groove in your guide 
And that's bad news because it can weaken your line and you could break off the biggest fish of your life when you don't expect to. So it's important to look at the guides during this time of year when you have an, uh, an opportunity to fix them up if something's wrong. Uh, you could always replace a guide with a new one. I'm looking at this very carefully right here because it looks like we got a little mark there, but what it really is is it's a little bit of epoxy glue. It's not a, uh, a cut or a groove in the guide. These guides look good. That looks good. My tip looks good. I'm going to look at this one last time here, this one that was a little bit questionable. That was this one here. And it looks like it's just a little bit of epoxy. Yep, just popped it off. So that guide is also good. So we're good. Now there's only one more step to do before we're ready to put our reel back on. Okay, so we got our reel, and what I have here is just a little bit of oil. This is uh, Abu Garcia High Speed Oil. It's meant for fishing reels, but I'm going to use it for something else here, too. What I'm going to do is simply put a little bit of oil on the threads here, that, on the threads here that, uh, for this uh, piece that holds the reel on. So I'm just going to take my oil, put just a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other. That's all you need. Just a little dab will do you. Why do I do that? Well, it keeps that reel seat clean. It keeps everything lubricated. And you'll find that it makes putting the reel on and taking it off a lot easier. So we're just gonna tighten this up. Hopefully you can see this now. Got a reel going on here. And so that oil is gonna help me. It's gonna lubricate those, those threads. And uh, that's all we did was put a little bit of oil on the threads, tighten it up, our reel's on there. We're ready to go. We're ready to fish. So that's all there is to it. It's a simple process, but this is something that I do every winter on every one of my rods. Makes it looking new again. Keeps everything good. I know my guides are ready to go. I'm ready to fish for the next season. Well, I hope you found this uh, video helpful and useful. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. That'll give you a notification for when the next video is coming out. Right now with my work schedule, I make videos when I can, so you might see uh, successive videos coming out one two days in a row and then there might be a week or two between the next one it's hard for me to predict when the next video is coming out so by hitting that bell you'll get the notification hope this helps hopefully tomorrow I'll be out on the water uh, making another video we'll see how the weather holds and what that brings and may God bless your fishing endeavors and I hope to see you on the water take care